Hello everyone, welcome to uh, Art Time Lapse. Today I'm doing a piece inspired by Studio Ghibli's Totoro, My Neighbor Totoro, and this piece is called Totoro's Treehouse. Now, I've actually painted Totoro's tree a number of times, but this one's a little bit different. My intention is to draw the house that's inside the tree that I imagine that Totoro will be living in. I thought this was such an interesting concept and I was so excited to get started on it. So here I'm using my acrylic wash watered down to kind of do the backdrop with the greens. I do need to let it dry before I add on the next subsequent darker layers. I know that this art time lapse makes this process go by so quickly, but I think to get to this point probably has taken me at least like three hours or so. Not necessarily including the time of waiting for the ink to dry. On average, one of these pieces usually takes me maybe a month or more because I usually try to paint for an hour or two hours at most uh, on the weekend when my children are taking their afternoon naps. So it does take me a little bit longer than it used to, but I still fully enjoy the process and find it really therapeutic to paint in between. And it's nice to have a hobby to go to when my kids are napping and I get a little time to myself doing something I love. Uh, one of the reasons I document these YouTube process is hopefully to let young artists know as well as my children in the future if you guys are watching this video to know that um, not everything comes by quickly and not everything comes by easy. Uh, what I mean by this is that I've been documenting my art process for over a year now and you can see how my art has progressed and changed over time both in my style and also I think refinement in my skills. and. It didn't come about in one day, it came with a lot of practice. Not everything comes out perfect or the way I intended, but sometimes it comes out for the better or the worse, but I always learn something from it. Um, and every time I get to a piece where I'm like, oh, this looks super amazing. And somehow a year from now or a couple months from now, I'll surprise myself with another piece that I think, no, this is not the peak of my artist's journey. Um, you never cease to surprise yourself if you keep trying. So here I have kind of subdivided the tree into different sections. Um, hopefully those will depict the different rooms inside Totoro's house. I'm using this round brush, just using the tip of it to do the outlines of where all the rooms will be. I think it's just really cool to have this like transection of the tree and seeing how the rooms are going to transpire. And then I'm going to do a tiny door. In the front, a little staircase that can wind down. Don't know if Totoro is going to fit through this door at this point, but I'll figure that out later. I really love painting things that are dreamy and nature based, so this is totally down my alley. So my table's a total mess. This is pretty normal for me. Uh, but I think some artists thrive underneath the mess. There is a explanation to the chaos that you see or so I'm told so here I am just adding in details for some of the leaves and I can imagine the light kind of peeking through the leaves and ca casting this kind of green fluorescent shadow that makes the entire tree glow so here I just need to illustrate the background before I get to the meat of the artwork which is like really the treehouse itself and all the rooms in between which is what I'm really excited about. It actually takes a lot of focus um, for me to just do the background and leave the inside alone even though that is the site that I am most excited to paint. So yeah but I know there is a rhyme and reason to why I'm doing this because doing the background and finishing that up in the back will make it easier as I paint in words rather than going inwards, outwards. So here, now I'm adding shadows and doing outlines, just really light outlines for how the rooms are look like, where the windows are gonna be, just using my regular acrylic wash watered down. I think this room will probably be maybe a drawing room. We'll see. I feel like maybe they have a telescope inside because this is like the top room in the treehouse. It'll be really nice on a starry night that Toro, Toro can go to the art room and look through his telescope and look at the sky full of stars in the middle of the forest. So here you can see 
in the next step i'm just adding in more shadow more outline the circles are going to represent where all the windows are going to be and i need to think about where the light's coming from and how it's going to cast shadow throughout the each of the rooms that you'll be seeing of course i'll have to include a bedroom a bathroom kitchen should i have a book room maybe i should have a storage room as well um not sure what how this can turn out but we'll see i just think that it's just such a cute idea that inside this tree carved inside are the multiple rooms and the houses tortoise day-to-day life so here this is i think the main living area with little pots be hanging on maybe fabric cloths or things on the ceiling here just adding on some shadows on the barks of the tree to make the piece stand out a little bit and not as flat of course gouache usually dries lighter for darker colors and darker for lighter colors so afterwards when it dries it's gonna look a little different here using my soy sauce dish i'm just adding in more shadows throughout the piece usually use a soy sauce dish just because it is easy for me to move around on different parts of the artwork without covering my artwork as i'm painting as well i actually don't use that much gouache each time given that i actually don't have a large span of time with each sitting for artwork because my kids don't lap, nap for extended periods of time or at least i find the nap schedule is getting shorter and shorter so doing my best as a mommy and an artist to balance my work here i've decided to add totoro in the front just adding in a mixture of like cobalt blue and this ombre brown to create this darker tone rather than just a solid black here just painting in the windows i thought the color scheme of the inside of the house would be a composite of orange cobalt blue some yellow greens and blues of course for the windows i'm going to add a little bit of light green to show the floors and green coming through the leaves and you can see each of the rooms with the shadows being cast from the light coming through the window i think it makes it just so much more magical and so beautiful and i did that technique using a combination of acrylic wash and oil pencils so that's it for this piece for tortoro's treehouse i hope you enjoyed this journey as i walked through how i put together this piece and i'll give you a closer look at each of the rooms inside the treehouse coming up as i wrap up this video thank you so much for joining me on this art time lapse and i'll see you in the next video stay safe and stay creative everyone bye for now